What's up guys, welcome back to the Home Slice. So I've been doing this testing, some of you guys will have followed along, but if you haven't, I slice through a nine millimeter sisal rope uh, against a 45 degree wedge with a really terrible scale sort of calibrated to zero with this on top of it to try to analyze how much force it takes uh, or forward pressure to convert the forward pressure into downward pressure to see how much slicing aggression these different edges have. This is a my traditional dual grit edge. We've got through the fine edges and we've got through testing some coarse edges and now we're going to compare them to some dual grit edges. First up, we've got my 250 grit diamond plate to 6,000 grit kingstone edge that has been stropped five times on flat denim, which is my current uh, favorite dual grit edge that I've discovered so far, but we're going to test a bunch of different fine stones in the upcoming episodes to see if swapping out the fine stone makes a difference. Then we'll try some different coarse stones and we'll finish up with some stropping and then we're going to get into testing different steels and see which steels take the best dual grit edge or which edge overall is the best for different steels. So today <clears throat> we've got the OG dual grit and yeah, let's get started. We'll do some, uh, we'll analyze the slicing force and then we'll go through Mr. Andy, the near-death experience rope, and take some best tests to see how much the keenness of the edge stays. And then at the end, we'll test the toughness by batoning it into, batoning a little section of edge into this pine piano leg that I have. Before we get into it, I guess I'll give a picture of what I'm trying to find out with this. So the 250 grit, Easy Lap Stone left this incredibly aggressive edge that chewed through the rope easily three times, but the best readings were not great. So they were all over 400 from the get-go, but it retained this slicing ability. And I think that a lot of us have had this experience where an aggressive stone seems to leave a working edge that lasts longer, and yet it doesn't maybe shave or test as well with best or different types of testing that you might do. And so what I'm hoping to find out is, does a dual grit edge reduce the initial best reading and perhaps give you that aggressive edge with an increased level of keenness that gives you a better trade-off between something that's good at push cutting and slicing, between something that's a really smooth and efficient edge, but also has a lot of grab and bite. That's what I'm hoping for. And so what I hope to see is that at least one of these dual grit edges cuts through the 40 millimeter manila rope as easily as the 250 grit diamond stone edge did, but with better edge durability, better best readings, and better felt like smoothness of slicing. So that's what I'm hoping to see today. We'll see what happens. I should mention before we start, that this particular edge did test better than the Easy Lap 250 grit edge. It went down to a best score of 130 grams, which is quite low for a dual grit edge. The Easy Lap 250 grit stone went down to initial best score of 251 and was around 444 after the first rope cut. Our best performing edge so far has been the Spyderco Ultrafine fine edge on both sides, which I'll put up on screen the statistics from that. But it ended at 431 bess after cutting the rope three times. Okay, let's get into it. Hey, 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 about 2.5 kgs on the initial slice, which is the best result on that so far. That's cool. All right, let's get Mr. Andy up here. Okay. Once through, let's see what the best is looking like. Mm. 
Okay, 315. That's not bad. What did the Spyderco Ultrafine do? 340 and 346. I believe 315 is the best, best so far. That's cool, looking good for the dual grid edge so far. Oh, no, 309 off of the Norton India. So the Norton India was slightly less. I have to say though, that was the fastest rope cutting experience I've had so far. That's, I'm, I'm kind of excited because this is my edge, but at the same time, I didn't know how it's gonna perform with any of these tests. So I'm kind of excited it's doing well so far, but let's keep going and see how it uh, holds up over time. Because that's the real question is aggression and slicing ability over time. Okay, twice through. Still pretty easy, but um, had to apply a little more force, so edge could be fading. Let's find out what the best says about the keenness. Three thirty-eight. Three thirty-eight. Mm. 338. 338 is the best result so far for the second cut of the rope. So that's quite cool. Let's press on to the third cut of the rope and see if that gets us over 400 bess or if we have to keep going. Okay, three times through. Definitely I would say the third time through was a little easier on the Easy Lap 250 grit diamond plate uh, only edge, just just a bit. Um, this dual grit edge started out even better than the coarse edge, the 250 grit edge, but by the third cut through, uh, it's, it's approaching the feel of a fine edge. It feels like um, a fine edge that's gone through the rope about half a time. It's just requiring, it's just requiring a lot more force. Um, we'll see if that translates to a poor best reading, or if we need to attempt another very laborious cut. Oh, pedestal problems. Three sixty-three. Okay, well. I think we are going for our first ever fourth cut because we are still under 400 and the thing is still cutting. I don't think we'll make it to a fifth based on how uh, laborious this is getting. I think we're going to have to take so many passes just to cut the rope that it's going to be dulled beyond 400 by the time we get there. But very, very good results for the dual grit edge so far which is cool, it's cool, good research.
Okay. Four times through. Whew, I gotta open up a window. Getting sweaty. Four times through. Definitely the flat of the edge was cutting with a lot more difficulty. Um, I had to utilize the belly, just like the fact that the curvature makes slicing a little more efficient was the only thing that got us through the end. I don't think I'll be able to get through another round of the rope, but we'll see what the best reading is. Four seventy-six. Four seventy-six. All right, let's get our slicing aggression and our toughness test going. Okay, I'll have to go back and check the footage because when I kind of slipped in, it went up and I didn't quite see how high. I think it was about eight, seven or eight. We'll put eight. I'll fix that if it's uh, different when I catch it in the footage. Okay. <laughs> Okay, after toughness test, this usually adds about 60 to 80 grams to the reading. So if we are mid 500s, that would be pretty normal. If it's way up at six or 700, then a dual grid edge, it's probably evidence that a dual grid edge is more prone to shock related damage than a fine edge. We were at 476, so. Four eighty-five. Uh, I need to do um, maybe come back with a, one of the original dual grit edges and a fine edge and do the toughness test before the rope cutting, because there's a possibility that the edge has been worn away and widened to an extent that the toughness differences are minimized. But for just a result from the outset, that's like a very very good result for. A dual grit edge. It stayed below 400 best, about 30% longer. Had the lowest initial slice kilos and the lowest post rope cut slicing. So longest lasting aggressive edge stated a low best the longest so very very encouraging results for the original dual grit edge if you want to see roughly how to sharpen this i'm using a pair of jeans that are cut up with some mother's mag and aluminum polish just like from an automotive store to do stropping and deburring on this now. Oh, I always forget to do a paper cut test, but this is for those of you guys who don't have a best. After all of that testing, the dual grid edge is cutting like this. Will slice cut. It sounds a bit rounded here through the middle. It doesn't catch like there's chips, but it does feel like after four times through 40, mani uh, 40 millimeter manila rope, it's a bit rounded, which is understandable. I mean, I think Victorinox is using steel that's got maybe like, it got caught there on a tear. Um, I think Victorinox is using very low carbon steel. Um, definitely won't push cut in the main area. Doesn't want to push cut really anywhere. Okay, but that's how that's how it lasts. Cool. You can see the exact method by which I sharpen this knife right here, and you can substitute in a denim strop if you would like to mimic what I'm doing right now. Otherwise, take care, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out from the Home Slice. Bye.